waiting for the train to go by, waiting for the right time to buy, Arcade went up. I have something in common with Arcade went up. Their plans for 2024 are actually the same as my plans for 2024. And some of those deals are actually right now Wayfair having a 72 hour sale on a lot of Arcade 1-Ups. One of the most notable sales is the NBA Jam Deluxe. Look at this, 465.81, 33% off. It's an incredible deal. Does it come down to 399 though? I mean, you know, the longer you wait, the better chance you pick up on some of these deals. Like Time Crisis sitting at 556.85, 5.99 on Amazon was the best price. You always have that possibility of 399, but right now just Wayfair running some incredible deals. Now gel showing up at 259.55. I'm hearing mixed reviews that even if you put this in your cart, it goes up over $300. I want to say $330. So I'm not really sure what the deal is with that. But if you're looking for Time Crisis or the NBA Jam Deluxe, pretty much the NBA Jam Deluxe I think is the best buy out of all three right now, $465.81. Plus, if you can get that $40 off of a purchase, I want to say two or $300 or more, if that works, it's a great time to buy. Man, that's going to be the headline for this walk and talk, taking advantage of early 2024 deals. And I always have, why? Why take advantage? Why pick up some of these that have been sitting around? We want new releases. We want other things. I'm going to explain some things and actually some decisions I recently just made. Also, why I passed on the ALP 4K for at games, why I didn't jump on that. Not saying that I'm not going to buy it, but this video is going to be kind of a FOMO buildup. So, spoiler alert, there's a lot of activity that, that had happened prior to this video and in this video. So. If, if, if you don't want to get any more FOMO buildup than the deals we just saw on Wayfair, look away. Because we're going to get into a couple of reasons why I'm doing what I'm doing right now, why I'm waiting on bigger purchases like the ALP. And the reason why some of these have been sitting, same old cabs at this Best Buy, that are now turning into storage areas for Jurassic Park figures. And reason number 400, why it's always good to have a display unit, inside stores. Knowing that prices drop, like it, it's kinda, it, you know, for our K1 Up standpoint, giving us something like Wheel of Fortune Casino K that's not drawing a lot of interest initially, dropping it $100 still isn't good enough. People are gonna want this for a lot cheaper, but getting us a cabinet that we really want, having that higher price point will sell more cabinets. And I think because of that, we're not gonna see you know, titles you, you, you were expecting, you wanted, because they don't want this. Again, I mean, it's just, every time we come to this Best Buy, there's, there's where we open up the video, we're standing up there. The four Wheel of Fortune Casino Cates, the big buck, are still here. You know, $5.99, $4.99, it's a steep price. I just paid $5.99 for NBA GM Deluxe, and now it's down under $500. People are holding out, they're waiting. They don't want this. I was recently told that Scratch, the cookie crisp dude, is the most sought after Turtles toy. Not the Super 7, because if that was the case, I would definitely run and get him. But seeing these Super 7, they, they're really pumping the music in here. You got a whole stereo room over here. Because it's like uh, encouraging, not frowned upon, encouraging to start cranking some of that, but yeah, I always keep my eye on these Turtles Super 7 at Best Buy and this Best Buy having the Pac-Man Deluxe with the same old, same old pricing on that kiosk. And kind of an update with the Turtles in Time and Best Buy whole thing is, you may have guessed it by now, your order, my order, second time around was canceled and no longer Will you see any DVDs on this spot, Blu-rays, or Turtles in Time on Best Buy? Check this out, even though you're seeing it still showing up online, you click on it, 
it's like it's a race from existence. You can't even find it. That's it. No more turtles in time. Even showing up online. Not only that is you're not seeing the Simpsons. And everything else. Look at this. Tron is out. Along with some of the MK30th are reappearing. Actually, Amazon having these. But Best Buy is sold out. I, I just think this is the best cabinet artwork on any Mortal Kombat we, we ever got. Or unfortunately, ever will get. I absolutely love the architecture on this Best Buy. You can overlook the store. It looks awesome from the street. The curb appeal. I also love Golden Axe. And you guessed it, spoiler alert, I picked it up the other night from Target. For the Target Circle, we are at $373.99 and then we had $30 gift cards. I mean, just the incentives of shopping at Target alone, all those points hung in there. $343.99. Could have waited, chanced it for the 5% birthday card, but I did the math and we're probably looking at another $17. So was it worth 17 or to just pick it up now? I had my eye on it for a while and I don't know if it's the Superman colors on the control deck or the fact that it's the only Sega cabinet available from our cave one up. It's just, I know the online isn't there. It's a huge selling point for me, but you know, that's just a cabinet that I had to have and you know, I kept putting it off, putting it off, and just afraid of it going back up to 549. It was now or never, and I decided to go with it. We're gonna run in. It's across from that Best Buy, one of my favorite game stops. And probably my favorite all-time elevator is pretty much the pinnacle of Mayfair Mall. It was like seeing this thing just going up and down in the main part of it. GameStop is exactly right above us. You know, for mid-Saturday, just after 12 o'clock, about 12.30 p.m., February 10th, 2024. Pretty lively today. Sun's out, gun's out, and quite the crowd at Mayfair. It's good to see. And GameStop is very busy today, actually. Yeah. Seeing some new DC figures here. Check out Nightwing. Look at this, classic 90s. Multiverse Nightwing, like you don't see this at Target or Walmart. Man, Dick Grayson. That's Superman behind him. That classic Chris Reeve curl. And I did see some of these McFarlands. You know when you're on Facebook and you see those ads? They did have, and they're always sold out of course, but you, know, you come to GameStop where like everyone's here. They do have some different renders of Superman and Sinestro back from the Super Friends look in the blue, so that yellow lantern, and Batman. So, you know, going back, I, I remember, you know, in the 60s, there was a comic where, yeah, Bruce was dressed up just like this. It's great seeing this stuff come back. And I looked down on the floor and Thomas Wayne, just chilling out on the floor. <laughs> Man, I mean, who would have thought you could ever get these guys? Back in the day, Thomas Wayne is Batman. I did want to note that I was at Target last week and they had the Chris O'Donnell Robin and you can you can buy these multiverse and put together Mr. Freeze. Check out George Clooney's Batman, so they're out there, Aquaman. Batgirl, Poison Ivy, Robin, Batman. Put together Arnie. Mr. Freeze, you know, as goofy as this was. You know, I mean, still a Batman movie and the cameo, like it or not, at the end of The Flash. Yeah, he was the Batman left in whatever Earth that was. And they do have the original, the OG Wolverine, the Marvel Legends. Only one here. Mark down. Two cents, okay. So clearance from 10.99 to 10.97. It's a classic Wolverine. I was just talking about this on Nostalgia Power that Marvel Secret Wars, like this was the Wolverine I had, but you could take those claws off. I don't know, I don't know if I can leave this one here, guys. This is nostalgia all over. Kenner, man, Kenner, you're doing it to me again.
And just to note, recently we were at Ross, we did the toy hunt, and we picked him up for I want to say $5.99, $6.99. Check out the final price at GameStop, $24.99. There are hidden gems at Ross. You want to check out some deals on toys? You could run, I'm, I'm, I'm grabbing this. You could run into some classifieds, some stuff that you would see here, look at Shredder. Shredder. Super Shredder. Ross is definitely a place to keep your eye on if you're looking for action figures. Okay, so I was just ready to check out with Wolverine. Did recognize the gentleman working behind the counter. Actually worked at another GameStop by Mr. Fox's location and it's not the two cents off here, it's buy one, get one free, so equal value. Went back to my go-to. I'm gonna take advantage of a superpowers here. We're gonna get one, and I'm, I'm tempted to get Robin, even though it's kinda got the beat up packaging, but I'm gonna make a decision here. We're gonna get, we're gonna get one of these. Even though it's a beat up package, as much as I want Thomas Wayne, I'm just gonna get Robin because it's Robin and you know what? I'll just remember this was the last Robin here. And even though you can kind of get inside of this this tear here and there's a rip right down. Just love that artwork. Big Robin fan. Okay, so Robin wasn't on clearance, so we're just getting just getting Wolverine. There he is. I thought it would be equal value, but it's okay, the box was torn. I was kinda, wasn't really anything else, the same price range that I, you know, was kind of a life or death situation. But, yeah, I'm glad we stopped. Got Wolverine, it is really bright over here. It's a good game stop. Still selling those retro games. Super Mario Brothers. It was like, they just kinda stop over here, check it out. Retro, Nostalgia, GameStop. Doesn't get any better than this, does it? Lego. Pretty tight inside of Lego. But with the purchases that I made, there's a reason. This is the Pac-Man up here. So sitting at $269.99. And the Nintendo, we just heard Mario's classic son out there. Also at $269.99, Millennium Falcon. Look at the size of this. $849, that's crazy. That is a lot of money. Man, this couple right behind me just said they bought this for their son. Graduation, guys. This is like KI Pro. The Amazing Spider-Man, $199.99. Kind of a 3D picture. Some Batman. Got a lot of cool stuff in here. They always change it around every time we come here. Look at the X-Jet. Oh, this might be the best one. Look at this. X-Men 97. Wolverine. 18 and over. Yep. Maybe 35 and over. 69.99. That is awesome. And that X-Men X-Jet. 84.99 does come with four characters and back to the future DeLorean sitting at 200 bucks it's a really good display at this Lego store really cool stuff that Wolverine glove I mean, I'm just shocked that Millennium Falcon $849 they sure know how to get our attention how to sell to us that's for sure it's unbelievable what you can find I was gonna go to this Comic Con. It was the Milwaukee Comic Con. It's once a year. I actually thought it was Sunday. Today's Saturday. Turns out it's today only 10 to 5. Right now it's probably 1, 1 1.30. Probably 1.30. And I went there this morning, late after, late morning, and it was so busy. I couldn't even pull in. Decided to do the walk and talk today. Was gonna do that, but instead of the money that I spent, was going to spend for parking, we got Wolverine. It's been a costly couple of weeks because of picking up our K1UP starting with the NBA GM Deluxe, Golden Axe, there is a third. You pass on this $5.99, it goes back up to $6.49, then $6.99, then we're back at the $7.49 range. There's just times where 
you pull the trigger. I mean, this is one that I've been watching. And something Carlo would tell me is, don't just buy something because you're getting a deal on it. For $100 cheaper, I could go with the Attack from Mars Arcade one up. Now, I'm not paying full price here. You're seeing the $599 and you're seeing the $499. I have points to apply. And the reason I want to pull the trigger now is because these prices are going to start going up. And if you're going to, you know, if I want to buy either one of these, this is the time to do it. And I don't want to just buy this because I'm getting a deal. I want Marvel. So in the card, $5.99, and then I'm going to apply all my points and gift cards, and we'll see what this comes out at. Down to four sixteen eleven. That's going to be our final price. And again, we could go with Attack from Mars for $100 cheaper, giving it three sixteen eleven. But I've been talking Marvel. I want Marvel. It's worth the four sixteen, and it's a lot better than five ninety nine. It's plenty of trains, planes, and automobiles. Mostly trains. Second time we saw a train in this video. It's such a nice day out. We're gonna stop at Dave and Buster's for a quick visual on why I didn't get the ALP 4K. Why I didn't pre-order Attack from Mars, Adam's Family, any of them, even Star Trek. I, I you know I said stated that I wanted the Star Trek, not really in love with the the skin they used, the 2009 Star Trek, but. Why didn't I get that? Why pass on probably, dare I say, the best FX pinball? You see when you come to places, when you come to arcades, Dave and Buster's, a bunch of games. And so not just a bunch of games, but always new titles. Going back to the years where you did go to the bowling alley, to restaurants, arcades, to play all those that we're buying up now, only in a home arcade form factor, there was always something new, something different. And even though deluxe cabinets, there's that Star Trek, and XLs are what we want, you know, to go back and buy riser cabinets, it's the look we're going for. I don't have a problem with the risers. It's always improving your arcade, getting something new, that's what it's all about. Just like David Buster's. I mean, there's going to be titles here that weren't here the last time we were here. The At Games Adams Family. We saw this in Chicago at the Pinball Expo. Currently, $1,500 plus $100 shipping. $1,600 for everything. Now, I know we could have got this a little cheaper if we would have got it into the first and second wave before December 31st, but... You make the call right now if you're going to get any of the ALP 4K with the shipping, $1,600. Same goes for Attack from Mars. You know, at the same price, guys, $1,500. $100 shipping. $1,600 for one thing. And I know when you're talking pinball, there's no... There's no comparison here. I've seen this in person. I saw the Adams Family. It's got great size to it. You got a 32 inch screen. But it is a lot to just put out there for one thing. I still think we're gonna see a lot more Raw Thrills type titles. Guitar Hero, a Jurassic Park. I wanted to say House of the Dead. You see that Sega up there? That's a big question mark. You know, that's pretty much the reason why I picked up Golden Axe. I don't know. I don't know what happens with Sega. Walking Dead, very possible. Your next arcade went up shooter. These are safe bets because, look at all the people here. This is what they see. Cruise and Blast. Those are the types of games to expect when we're talking new releases from Arcade 1UP. Will we see a Pac-Man Battle Royale? I mean, it's, it's interesting, you know, when you're looking at this, you have all the players here now. I don't think, I don't expect an eight player home arcade, but a four player. If you shrink this down, put four players like the pub table, throw that on there, could be, a, you know, could be that Pac-Man title to expect. 
very possible. You know, people have seen it. They're familiar with it. Safe bets, guys. Unfortunately, we've reached that point of safe bets. It does look pretty good, though. Before 2023 ended, I had decided I was going to get an NBA Jam. I just didn't know. Hey, Homer. I didn't know if it was going to be Shaq Jam or the Deluxe. Nobody's flip-flopped on that more than I have. But that wasn't it. There was other caps. You know, Golden Axe. A pinball. And now, Turtles in Time. Like, it's just kind of emerged out of nowhere. All those cabinets? I still gotta find the Turtles in Time. But four things for the price of one. That's why I didn't get the Act Games. Well, I want to congratulate the winner of the first of six giveaways. Recently shipped out Donatello. I'm going to pick out another prize for week two, which leaves us four after this week's episode. All you have to do is go on Instagram, pd 7 Lucky's Gym, and comment on the picture. And I'm just going to select a random comment and message you for your address and, and send it to you. So. You know, find me on Instagram, PD7, Lucky's Gym. I'll have a link in the description. And I want to congratulate Decadent Dave. For giveaway number two, last week we gave away Donatello. This week, looking at some Masters of the Universe. I'm not sure I want to do another Ninja Turtle. I do have another Michelangelo, and then the rest are those movie reel turtles. You can see Bebop over there. I don't know if I want to do a repeat of the Ninja Turtles. I kind of want to do something different. They do have two of the Fright figures. You have Egon and Ray. I think, you know, I went back. The other Target did have a Winston. Still have not seen Peter, but I have seen all three of these, and I gotta tell you, the next time we come here, they won't be here. And I think, I think picking up a Ghostbusters for our next giveaway, giveaway number two, for our 2,000 subs giveaway, we're gonna go with the Ghostbusters fright figure. I'm kind of torn here. I think I'm gonna go with Ray. As much as I want to get Egon, I'm gonna go with Ray. I just, I think it's the logo on his chest. I think it's the shirt. They're both great. I hope, I hope somebody really wants the Fright figure because I think this is a good one. I want to keep some variety and I don't want to do another Turtles. I've just had such bad luck with Turtles. Let's go with Ray. Yeah, you guys are killing me. And plus we did a Turtles giveaway last week. So just want to note there is a piece of tape right here. So don't think that I, we're, we're still at Target, okay? Like here's, here's proof. There is a piece, you see that scotch tape right there? I don't know. Kind of, you know, Egon doesn't have, Egon has the tape too. Okay, so they both have tape. I'm still sticking with Ray. PD7, Lucky's Gym. Just comment on the picture. I'll select the winner. Get your address. And you could win the real Ghostbusters Fright Figures Ray Stance. This was all empty at one point. It's a business right here off of a busy road. And they put in a Burger King right off of Moreland Road and a quick trip right next door. This is all new, like, it's unbelievable. I've never been here before. I thought, hey, what the heck? We'll grab a burger, take a break from McDonald's, stop at Burger King. It's a self-service, so you can get the Coke or Wild Cherry Fanta. I mean, this is as close to a Slurpee, other than 7-Eleven you're gonna get, frozen Coke. It's tempting. Even though I saw people in shorts today, it's not that hot. It's been a while though. I'm gonna, just gonna opt for a regular fountain. And we'll probably go Dr. Pepper as usual. It's kind of the go-to. Get the ice. Go with the double whopper, medium. Got my double whopper, medium fry, bunch of ketchup, and my large 
call it a medium, Dr. Pepper. They make a posting earlier on that gel sale along with time crisis going on at Wayfair and Chaotic BPR did speak with a representative that those prices are changing every hour. Could go back up to full price and all the way back down to the sale price. So I guess that's what's going on at Wayfair. I'm gonna give a shout out to Chaotic BPR. He just did purchase a gels cabinet and you know, I'm sure he was pretty interested in the price difference. I'm not sure where he got it, but I hope you're able to get some of that back if you did purchase from Wayfair. It's a great deal, but again, you're gonna see a lot of price changes. I'm starving, I'm gonna eat this Whopper, but yeah, that, that was interesting. Wayfair just changing prices. Top for the no cheese, uh, it just costs extra. We're already at, I wanna say I spent maybe $12 on this, I can't remember, but this is craving a Whopper. Actually, I almost went to Five Guys, but just thought, you know what, I haven't been to this location. We'll check it out, dive right into this. It's not a double Big Mac, but it's a double Whopper. Shout out to Steve. Got a link here for not only the Capcom Legacy Street Fighter 2 from a company called 20 Woot. $324.99. Also the Midway Legacy Mortal Kombat 2 coming up at $324.99. So I have a link in the description to check this site out. 20 Woot. Get the original legacies for under 330 bucks. That's gonna do it for today. I want to thank everybody for watching. Great meal at Burger King. Chaotic, thanks for the update. It really explains a lot with the Wayfair pricing. Definitely something to watch is Wayfair and Best Buy dropping prices that only last, you know, up to 12, 24 hours. So pick up those, you know, pick up those incentives. There's, there's a lot to choose from. We're gonna see a lot of this in the next two months. That's why I, you know, bought three arcade one-ups. Oh yeah, there's, there's one more. So Golden Axe is gonna go right up against this wall. There's still room for one more. And right here, the countercades, it's gonna get shifted over and Marvel Superheroes, Marvel Pinball, Marvel Superheroes, will go right here. This will get shifted. This has always bothered me, this kind of like rat's nest. And yeah, that next cab, 